ਡਾਕਟਰ ਕਾਂਸ਼ੋ ਦੇਖਣ ਵਾਲੇ ਸਾਰੇ ਸਰੋਤਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਮੇਰੀ ਪਿਆਰ ਭਰੀ ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਪਿਆਰੇ ਸਰੋਤਿਓ ਅੱਜ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਜੋ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੀ ਆਰਮੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਯੂਨਾਈਟਿਡ ਸਟੇਟਸ ਆਰਮ ਫੋਰਸਿਸ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਸਾਡੀ ਕਮਿਊਨਿਟੀ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਹਿੱਸਾ ਲੈ ਸਕਦੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਹੈ ਕਿੱਦਾਂ ਅਸੀਂ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੰਟਰੀ ਚ ਅਸੀਂ ਰਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਇੱਥੇ ਦੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਆਰਮ ਫੋਰਸਿਸ ਨੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਵਿੱਚ ਆਪਣੀ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਪ੍ਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਸ ਆ ਜਾਂ ਕਿਉਂ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਸਾਰੂ ਕਰਨਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਇਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਤੇ ਅਸੀਂ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਾਂਗੇ ਇਸ ਟੌਪਿਕ ਤੇ ਗੱਲ ਕਰਨ ਲਈ ਸਾਡੇ ਇੱਥੇ ਇੱਕ ਲੋਕਲ ਲੈਫਟੀਨੈਂਟ ਆਪਾਂ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਚ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਅੰਗਰੇਜ਼ੀ ਲੂਟੀਨੈਂਟ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਲੂਟੀਨੈਂਟ ਜੈਸਮੀਨ ਕੌਰ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਚ ਆਏ ਹੋ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਜਸਮੀਨ ਥੈਂਕ ਯੂ ਸੋ ਜੈਸਮੀਨ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਇਹਦਾ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਕੰਫਰਟੇਬਲ ਨੇ ਬੋਲਣ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਇਹ ਦਿੱਲੀ ਚ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜਨਮ ਹੋਇਆ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਇਹ ਉਸ ਤੋਂ ਬਾਅਦ ਅਮਰੀਕਾ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰਹੇ ਤੇ ਸੋ ਇਹ ਥੋੜਾ ਇੰਗਲਿਸ਼ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਤੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਪੰਜਾਬੀ ਦੇ ਥੋੜਾ ਹਿੰਦੀ ਚ ਸਾਡੇ ਸਰੋਤਿਆਂ ਨਾਲ ਗੱਲਬਾਤ ਕਰਨਗੇ ਸੋ ਜਸਮੀਨ ਪਹਿਲਾਂ ਤਾਂ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਇਹ ਦੱਸੋ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕਿੰਨੀ ਦੇਰ ਤੋਂ ਆਰਮ ਫੋਰਸਿਸ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋ 5 ਸਾਲ ਸੇ ਸੋ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਆਰਮੀ ਹਾਂਜੀ ਸੇ ਕਿੰਨਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਆਰਮੀ ਚ ਕੰਮ ਕਰਨਾ ਅੱਛਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਆਮ ਯੂਜ਼ ਇਨ ਦਾ ਬਿਗਿਨਿੰਗ ਆਈ ਵਾਸ ਅ ਰੈਗੂਲਰ ਸੋਲਜਰ ਇਨਲਿਸਟਡ ਸੇ ਗਏ ਤੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਬੇਸਿਕ ਟ੍ਰੇਨਿੰਗ ਏ ਆਈ ਟੀ ਕੀਆ ਇਟ ਵਾਸ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਫਨ basic is thoda hard hai that's your main training hai to tab and then mom and dad say first time do rehna and then that, that was very hard us time laga then i guess you appreciate your family more <laughs> to the only way hum log baat kar sakte the mom and dad says through letters yeah we it was three and a half months of training so i got to talk to them maybe two times 5 minutes the most which you know calling dialing <laughs> usually takes all that time ait me it's your job training so whatever you're going to do um within the army or military um branch that's what you train on and i was in texas for that so it's good that bahar nahi gayi outside of the united states but within the united states i went to north carolina south carolina texas when i was in officer training i went to kentucky so i traveled a lot within the united states through the military what inspired you be kehdi cheez ne thonu interest create kita vi armed forces jana kyunki you are so smart you could have gone in any other profession so army de vich kyon gayi my dada ji he was um he's been he was in the military and then he wanted ki koi to family se you know so was in indian army or he was a, uh he retired as a captain in indian army army he pretty much spent his whole life there and then he wanted ki somebody Point you know one of his kids to go my dad tried he it wasn't for him so then after when they passed away i thought that i wanted to do something so dada ji ne da shi dwa da ha so apna uh, you have any regrets going to armed forces no that was the best decision i made okay so thoda ya jo na se apne srotiyan nu dassna chahne thoda ya explain karo vi jehdiyan jehdi itthe di armed forces ne unna di kehdiyan branches ne how big how big is us army and explain a little bit vi thoda educate karo sade srotiyan nu jo main hai there four that's army that's air force navy and marines but then there is coast guard that's the really small branch it's the fifth branch in the army uh, in the military and the military yeah, it's less than 1% of the united states population to bahut choti hai and living or dead you know it's not many people join unfortunately sare log ki nahi kar pande and then jo life spam hai military ka they do about 4 years of active duty then they want to come back home so that's why the military is so small it's 0.9% I would believe around that it's very very 0.09% it's very very small so when we so we there how if koi student hai ga you know somebody is in a high school or somebody is in a college pehla de so we if you want to go to armed forces either you know mm-hmm. how you decide we uh, kide ch jana hai ga do you have a choice ਵੀ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਮਰੀਨ ਬਣਨਾ ਹੈ ਜਾਂ ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ 에ਅਰ ਫੋਰਸ ਚ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈ ਔਰ ਦੇ ਚੈੱਕ ਯੂਰ ਅਬਿਲਿਟੀਜ਼ ਔਰ ਐਟ ਵਾਟ ਇਟਸ ਸਟੇਜ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਲਾਈਫ ਯੂ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਸਟਾਰਟ ਥਿੰਕਿੰਗ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਇੰਟਰਸਟਿਡ ਕਿ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਆਰਮਡ ਫੋਰਸਿਸ ਜਾਣਾ ਹੈਗਾ ਅਮ ਨਾਊ ਡੇਸ ਵਨ ਕਿਡਸ ਆਰ ਇਨ ਹਾਈ ਸਕੂਲ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਸਕੂਲਸ ਹੈਵ ਜੇ ਆਰ ਓ ਟੀ ਸੀ ਇਟਸ ਜੂਨੀਅਰ ਆਫੀਸਰ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮਸ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਈਵਨ ਇਫ ਯੂ ਵਾਂਟ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਇਨ 
that's the best way to send your kids. It's extracurriculum activities, but OHI, it disciplines your kids. It teaches you a structure of life. When you go into there, it's usually Army or Air Force. Those are the two that have GROTCs. And then once they go into there, they can see, you know, if I want to be in the Navy, Army. Navy is mostly swimming. If you're, you know, scared of water, maybe that's not the branch for you. Army is more of, you know, working out, hardcore. Um, maybe if you think you're tough, you can be in the Army. Um, and if you want to be on the ground, which actually Army is one of the branches that you could be on sea, on the ground, in the ship, anywhere, on in, even in air. Um, and then, of course, the Marines are the crazy ones <laughs> that we call. Um, it's harder for a female, a girl, to go into a Marines because it's one of the toughest branch. They break you down to the point that you probably, that's actually the one that has probably the highest um, suicide rates, oh, that's Marines. Sad. So, Maria, the Soviet, uh in general, mm -hmm. unless you're going into a special Marines or something, in mm -hmm. general, is there any difference be male or female to go difference or equal opportunity? Yeah. It's the a big difference. <laughs> the challenges are the same or the difference? No, it's, it's harder for a female and it's harder for an Indian female. Why? To struggle. It's a white community <laughs> and I think it's harder for, first of all, if you're not white, it's hard for you. If you are white and a, if you're Indian and a female, it's much harder for you. Um, they look you differently. Not that that should, you know, discourage you from joining because that makes you tougher. You want to prove them wrong. I went through the same struggle, but I went through as an officer. So, so, so after some time, you feel like you're part of a family? There's always going to be differences, mm -hmm. but that shouldn't stop you. Okay. End goal is what you want to do. It's not what he or she wants you to do. It's what you want to do at the end. Even if they put you down because you're female or you know not white, it it shouldn't stop you from what you want to do. There was time where I wanted to quit because of the pressure that I was getting from my um, classmates in ROTC, and to the point that I actually went to my um, captain's office and I said, I quit. But I'm not saying all <laughs> non-Indians are going to discourage you. And luckily, he was on my side and he said, take 24 hours, think it through, think at why you joined and what you're trying to accomplish at the end, and then come back. You just mentioned we ikta uncommissioned. You start from after the high school, and then you have a Officer, one of the other thing. Thoda fark daso. Ode li key requirements ne key education chahi diya. The what's the difference? Actually, there's three. Okay. There's a warrant officer, who is in the middle. There's the enlisted that you can go out of high school. There's the warrant officer. You could be an enlisted and go to warrant officer school, and then be a warrant officer. And then there is an officer which you need a college degree. So as a what I think was the easiest for me, go to your basic training AIT, um, you know, right out of high school, or I would say wait two years so you're mature. Go maybe when you're 20, go to um, basic AIT, get a job, then go into your enlisted, or um, it's the reservist. Go work there, and then while you work there, you can get stipends. Military will pay for your schooling if you're lucky. <laughs> a lot of times they will. Um, I didn't get paid, f um, they didn't pay me, but I got scholarship. So there's incentives. They might give you um, a GI Bill, or they will give you a stipend, or you can get a scholarship. I got a scholarship, it was a two-year scholarship for 20,000, which 20,000 will pay you for your two-year tuition. And then after that, you become an officer. You have to go to your officer's school, compete for it, and then you swear in as an officer for an eight-year contract. So there, there are some, I mean, I think there are special military academies. So what is the benefit of going there? What are those academies? Military academy, personally, it's not worth it. 
बहुत ज़्यादा हार्ड है एंड यू गिन बी प्रोडी मच इन द मिलिट्री ट्वेंटी फोर सेवन यू डू हैव एन इंसेंटिव यही होगा कि अगर मिलिट्री वाले स्कूल से जा रहे हो बिकमिंग ऑफिसर यू हैव अ बेटर चांस ऑफ गिंग एक्टिव ड्यूटी बट यूर अवे फ्रॉम योर फैमिली फॉर फोर ईयर्स सो इट्स डिसिप्लिन बहुत ज़्यादा है हार्ड कोर है एंड those military schools are probably not beneficial for a female okay so pyare se hote sanu ummeed hai ki tusi ye program nu dhyan na dekh rahe ho khaas karke main request karanga vi thode ghar ch bacche ne jehde young ne school ch padde ya college padde hain jo ajhe nahi dekh rahe ohna nu please tusi bulao vi oh program nu dekhan ve badiyan zaruri gallan je apna is country ch rehna ta apna nu vi is country de har महकमे के मैं कहाँगा भी हर खिते हिस्सा लेना बड़ा जरूरी है तो ही सा जी कम्यूनिटी की पहचान है साड़ी रिस्पैक्ट है इस कंट्री बनेगी खास करके पंजाबी कम्यूनिटी सिख कम्यूनिटी का ट्रडिशन है बहुत व्डा भी असी मिलटरी देव करते हैं सो आप हम जसमीन दे होर गल् करा भी की बैनीफिट्स ने आर्मी जाने की इन्हों हैल्थ बैनीफिट्स ने या होर गल् इस प्रोग्राम की जी छोटी जी ब्रेक तो बाद गल करा प्लीज साढ़े इस तरह जुड़े रहो प्यारे स्रोते सू उम्मीद है कि तुम हले थाई का प्रोग्राम पसंद कर रहे हो अज असी गल कर रहे हैं कि जो अमेरिका के आर्मी हैगी नेवी आ जा आर्म फोर्स ने वोदे जोड़े नौजवान बच्चे उन्होंने क्यों जाना चाहिए तो की ओपरचुनिटीज़ है सो so, इस टॉपिक लिए असी गलबात करे लोकल ऑफिसर लैफ्टीनेंट जैसमीन कौर न बुलाया हो जैसमीन थोड़ा थो 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 दसो भी तुम दसिया भी जी आर्मी अकैडमीज ने या मिलटरी अकैडमीज ने भी वो कई बार बहुत स्ट्रिक्ट डिसिपलिन या बहुत ज़्यादा उन्हों की टफ ट्रेनिंग है पर यह नहीं भी जेडे उस अकैडमी के थ्रू लोग ट्रेन होंगे उन्होंने जी प्रमोशन के चांस ज़्यादा होंगे ने प्रमोशन से स्कूलिंग से प्रमोशन का कोई नहीं है थोड़ी परफॉर्मेंस है हाँ जी एंड टाइम एंड सर्विस है तो फॉर फर्स्ट लेफ्टिनेंट सेकेंड लेफ्टिनेंट जो फर्स्ट रैंक है मिलिट्री में टू ईयर्स लगते हैं टू बिकम फर्स्ट लेफ्टिनेंट तो ये टाइमिंग्स दिए हुए हैं फॉर अब अब उन्होंने चेंज कर दिए कैप्टन के लिए पाँच साल कर दिए तो बिकॉज वो दर डाउन साइजिंग तो प्रमोशन भी हार्डर होते जाएंगे सो यू आर थोड़ी देर बाद कैप्टन बनना हो नो पाँच वो पाँच साल एज एन ऑफिसर लगा के फिर यू बिकम एन कैप्टन तो कितनी देर लगेगी दैट वुड बी थ्री थ्री एंड हाफ मोर ईयर्स तो so, थोड़ा जहाँ रैंक्स दसो हाँ जी भी लैफ्टीनेंट तो शुरू होकर कैप्टन भी क्योंकि यू एस आर्मी थोड़े रैंक्स आर डिफरेंट दैन इंडियन आर्मी थोड़ा जहाँ दसोंगे भी थले तो शुरू करके उत्ते पहले जो शुरू की है वो है सेकंड लेफ्टिनेंट फिर है फर्स्ट लेफ्टिनेंट फिर है जाके कैप्टन फाइव ईयर्स में होता है एंड देन उसके बाद है मेजर फिर उसके बाद है कर्नल एंड देन फोर बर्ड कर्नल फिर देन It goes so on. Up to the general. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Three star, five star journals. Five star is the biggest. So, जो तो तुसी army दे बीच है क्यों तो एक जगह posting है बदली किन्नी वारी हुन्दी या how you how much you have to move around how long you can stay at one place. Active duty में you move around. So it's about two to three years में you move, and you really don't have कहाँ move करना यू कोई तुम्हारा chance नहीं है. अच्छा ही. Reserve is जो मैं कर रही हूँ part time. उसमें इफ यू मूव टमोरो टू टेक्सिस तो तुम लोग वहाँ जाके अपना यूनिट देख सकते हो बट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी तुम्हारी है अदरवाइज एक्टिव ड्यूटी में हो यू नो वो हाउसिंग देंगे एज एन ऑफिसर यू गेट अ हाउस अगर आप यू रेगुलर इनलिस्ट सोल्जर हो दैन यू लिव इन अ डॉर्म अनलेस फैमिली है दैन यू कैन गेट अ हाउस देर सो इंसेंटिव हैं अगर एक्टिव ड्यूटी जाओगे तो मोर बेनिफिट्स हैं एंड देन रिजर्व इसमें यू जस्ट पार्ट टाइम तो सो सी आर्मी जो है गया तो थानु खाना मेस तो मिल रहा है एक्टिव ड्यूटी तो राइट ऑफिसर को यू हैव टू पे सो यू हैव टू पे हाँ जी सो हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस हेल्थ इंश्योरेंस मिलती है रैनली था दे रहे ने नहीं बिकॉज़ दैट्स एक्टिव ड्यूटी के लिए होगा काम से जाना है देन यू गेट अ व्हीकल ओके अनलेस नहीं अदरवाइज तुम्हारी खुद की कार होगी ओके सो यू कैन सेव मच ऑफ योर सैलरी वो यू डू बिकॉज योर हाउस इज फ्री ओके सो दैट्स द बिग बेनिफिट हां जी ते लोन राइट ऑफ प्रोग्राम भी है गया ये मेरी कोई 
ਕਿਸੇ ਨੇ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਕੀਤੀ ਤੇ ਫਿਰ ਉਹ ਆਰਮੀ ਚਲੇ ਗਏ ਦਸ ਆਰਮੀ ਹੈਲਪਸ ਯੂ ਪੇ ਆਫ ਯੂਰ ਲੋਨਸ ਨਾ ਇਟ ਵਿਲ ਹੈਲਪ ਯੂਰ ਆਗੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਬੱਚੇ ਹੋਣਗੇ ਯੂ ਨੋ ਬੀਇੰਗ ਇਨ ਆਰਮੀ ਟਾਈਮ ਜੋ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਕ੍ਰੂ ਤੋ ਆਗੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਅਗਰ ਯੂ ਹੈਵ ਟੂ ਡੂ ਮੇਬੀ ਮਾਸਟਰਸ ਕਰਨਾ ਹੈ ਯਾ ਆਗੇ ਜਾ ਕੇ ਕਿਡਸ ਨੇ ਸਕੂਲ ਜਾਣਾ ਸੋ ਦੇ ਇਨਕਰੇਜ ਯੂ ਟੂ ਸਟੱਡੀ ਯੈਸ ਆਰਮੀ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨਕਰੇਜਿੰਗ um soldiers to study because wohi be- the problem is ki jab hum log apna 4 years time in service karke nikal jate hain we don't have the education outside world ke sath hum compete nahi kar pate because na hamare paas schoolings hain as an enlisted soldier jo hai na hamare paas jo regular jobs hain civilian jobs hain unka koi training hai na education us job mein to isi problem mein hi jo hai bahut sare jo um retired militant hain wo homeless hain they're on streets begging so we'll, we'll come to that topic so eh the so we what are the health benefits when you're active duty or your reserve um i can't say much for active duty but reservists mein jo hai wahi i'm pretty sure same cheez hi hai um there's a thing called united healthcare that's paid um you pay 50 bucks i think minimum hai for single person and then dental is about 11 bucks so it's very much paid for you pay that yourself so uh, the topic you to si pehla mention kar rahe si ke bhi this is a great service jo so, banda armed forces ja ke they are serving country this is the most powerful country in the world to so, jehde army de vich jehde log jadon army to after they are retiring or they laid off after mm-hmm. they done their duty ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਇੰਨੀ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਡਿਪਰੈਸ਼ਨ ਤੇ ਇੰਨੀ ਸੁਸਾਈਡ ਕਿਉਂ ਹੈ ਇਹਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਵਜ੍ਹਾ ਹੈ ਅਮ ਵੈਨ ਦੇ ਗੋ ਜਬ ਐਕਟੀਵਿਟੀ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਅਬਰੋਡ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਇਟਸ ਦੀ ਵਾਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟ ਕਾਲਡ ਦਾ ਪੋਸਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਮੈਟਿਕ ਸਿੰਡਰਮ ਉਹ ਇਤਨਾ ਜ਼ਿਆਦਾ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਦੇ ਦੇ ਕੈਨ ਕਮ ਆਊਟ ਆਫ ਇਟ ਉਹ ਉਸੀ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਮੇ ਰਹਤੇ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਫੋਰ ਲਾਰ ਆ ਗਾਇਸ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਲੋਕ ਚਲੇ ਤੋਂ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਹਨ ਬਟ ਇਨ ਕੀ ਜੋ ਗਰਲਫ੍ਰੈਂਡਸ ਵਾਈਫਸ ਉਨਕੋ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮਸ ਹੁੰਦੀ ਹੈ पीछे से दिन वो छोड़ देती हैं या यू नो सेम फॉर गर्ल्स का होता है अगर फीमेल चली जाए बाहर तो वो लड़का छोड़ देता है तो उस उसी से या अगर कोई किड्स बैक होम है तो वो ज़्यादा स्ट्रेस हो के दिन दे गेट डिप्रेस एंड दैट्स वाई मिलिट्री में ऑल्सो दे वन अम ए सुसाइड नंबर वन रेट है ਸੁਸਾਈਡ ਕਰਨ ਲੋਟ ਹੈ ਸੁਪਰ ਇਹ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਹੈਗੀ ਆ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਰਿਜ਼ਰਵ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਨਹੀਂ ਹੈਗੀ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਦੇ ਆਰ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਵਿਦ ਦੇ ਫੈਮਿਲੀਜ਼ ਰਾਈਟ but reserve be deployed ho jate hain par wo they may not be for as long as much as it's the same time it's the same time reserves jo hai wo is going to go to active duty in time of service like a war time hai reserves or national guard is a state funded jo hai wo ya active duty jo hai hum teeno jayenge so anything you want to share i didn't ask you i just this is a story back jab uh, I think it was beginning jab mein I was doing officer program about 2 years ago. I went to Yuba City with my mom and then um at the gas station Sadar uncle ji puche ki because it's uniform pehni thi na to he pucha ki army mein and I said yeah and then he said why you're wasting your time as a girl. That's what made me mad is first of all Indian hockey you should be proud that i'm in the military and then bola ki ladki okay you can't do that that is a big no for me so i encourage parents cha ladki hai ladka hai doesn't matter send them to military if it's just the jrtc send them there they teach they learn what life is and it will benefit you aage ja ke tum maa baap ko and then bachcho ko and their kids it'll help them so time thoda what's your final words to encourage younger people to join the armed forces I think he, as a girl or a guy you should go first to JRTC wahan ja ke it's you don't have any obligation you don't have to be in the military f- after you graduate ja ke dekho what the life is if you like it join um you know the enlisted uh, army air force whatever you like or you could be an officer If you want to secure your life, I would say be an officer. Thoda time lagta hai, but be patient. You will see the result at the end. So pyare srotyo sanu ummeed hai ki tusi jehda ajj da program pasand kita hoga. Saadi aksar koshish rehndi hai ki assi koi eddan da topic discuss kariye jide naal saadi community, saadi aun wali peedi koi fayda utha sake. So uh, Colonel 
Jasmine Kaur, my salute to you one more time. Thank you for coming to the show. Thank and you. And uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Asikal. Asikal.